So the Durham National is next, three miles and six furlongs, 0 to 140, and we got last year's winner coming back for another go as well. So Artisan Sundowns at the top for David Robertson, We Be Clarity for Martin Lidham was the winner last year, finding Alice Martin Lidham, Glen Five Fredlock, Alex Cherry, Lord Cal Padre Hogan, Mr Wiseman and Alexander Mix for Stu Gray. So seven of them meant and calling it away. Two trainers doubly represented in a field of seven. And they make their way towards the first. And once again, a few of these may have been qualified for that Moore's Millions. But come to this instead, which is a pretty good prize. And Wee Wee Clarity, last year's winner, is pretty close up as they get to the first. And they're all safe near with the grey finding. Alice was somewhat ponderous. As you can see, we've moved on from Perth to Sedgefield, so we're working our way back down the country. And Lord Cal, I shouldn't say that, because Perth in a different country, it's in Scotland. Well, Scottish people to be able to go at me, suggesting that Scotland and England were the same country. Anyway, Lord Cal's in front. From Alexander Minx in second. And Glenn Fire Fredlock. We be Clarity, as they all jumped over that one nicely. Mr. Wiseman's after that one. Artisan Sundown. Finding Alice just at the back. So Lord Cal for Padraig Hogan in the yellow and black in the lead. Um, Alexander Minx in second. Good jump there by Stu Grace Horse. I've seen it go back up into a marginal lead. And Artisan Sundown is in third on the outside in those turquoise and pink hoops. And it made a really bad mistake there. David Robertson's horse was having a really good end to the season. David Robertson, I think his charge was just a little bit too late to take either of the titles, but he's certainly going to be up there in the reckoning for the flat and, and the jumps. And he's um, well inside the top ten. And it's Lord Cal who's the leader. Um, last year's winner, Weeby Clarity, in second. And inside of that one is Alexander Minx, finding Alice the only grey in the field. It's getting a bit closer, Artisan Sunday on that one's inside, then the orange sleeves of Glenfire Fredlock for Alex Cherry, and the second Stu Greyhorse, Mr Wiseman, is the back marker as they all skip over number seven. So Lord Cal, an undisputed lead of about four lengths or so. To find it nice and will be clarity. Alexander Minx on the inside as they take this next ditch. And again, finding nice was a little bit careful, shall we say, over it, giving it plenty of air. And it's Lord Cal who bowls along in the front. Probably four or five lengths clear, and the rest of them are then only covered by three lengths. There's still a long way to go yet. As they get to the fence, it'll be the last in a couple of circuits time. Caliber lead. Passing the one in post then. Two circuits of the Sedgefield track to go. Alexander Minx in second, Finding Alice is third, Wee Wee Clarity is fourth, and then Artisan Sunday after that one with Mr. Wiseman and finally Glenn Five Fridlot, who's just a back marker. Into a plain one then. Again, all over it, okay. Finding Alice, they move through in a second. Otters and Sundown is third. Alexander Mix is fourth. And we be Clarity to drop back into fifth. And then Glenn Fire, Fredlock, and Mr. Wiseman. And into number 11. Leader stood off a bit, but got over it okay. We be Clarity was a bit untidy at the back and has now been relegated to the last place. I've got a bit of work to do too. Recapture the heroics of last season. It's Lord Cal. Lead down to two in there. As Finding Alice gets considerably closer. Over the 13th they go. And again, we be Clarity at the back there with a, an almighty clout. This will almost certainly be we be Clarity's final race. After being in for the last two seasons. Over that one they go. And Lord Cal is the leader. Alexander Minx and Finding Alice. Then comes Artisan Sundown and Mr. Wiseman. We've been clarities after that one. And then 
Glen 5 Fred lock the back marker as they take the 15th and they're all safely over the 15th and they're all still jumping well they've got a mile and a half to go well, that is just a little more than a whole circuit as Lord Cal takes him into this ditch that was the sales of four about Glen 5 Fred lock's gone uh, Glenfire Fredlock is out of it, out of the ditch. The ditch which will be the second last, I think, on the next circuit. You can see it's a long run to what will be the final fence. And uh, Lord Cal is going to lead into it. And over that one they go, and then you can see there's not all that big a running. And it's Lord Cal in front from Alexander Mix as they go out there on their final circuit then. In this one, it's Lord Cal in the lead of the Durham National. For Alexander Minx in second, and Mr. Wiseman in third. Finalis is four, and then Artisan Sundown is five, and last year's winner, Weeby Clarity, is the back marker of the six that remain. Glenfire Fredlot having gone up the ditch in the home straight on the last circuit. They come down to the 18th, and the leader was a little bit ponderous, and Weeby Clarity was down on his nose again. And it's Lord Cal in the lead. On the Stu Grey pair who are looming in second and third. Alexander Minx and Mr. Wiseman. And the Grey finalists after that one. Then Artisan Sundown. Difficult to see. We be Clarity winning again after those mistakes. As they get over the 19th. It's Lord Cal. Had been in the lead on, the, on his own all the way so far. From Mr. Wiseman and Alexander Minx. They come to the 20th. In finalists and Artisan Sundown. Finally We be Clarity at the back. But Lord Cal. Still clear and still seems to be going well enough in front. A good five clear getting over the 21st. With Alexander Minx in second, Mr. Wiseman in third, then Artisan Sundown, Find Alice and Weeby Clarity, and nothing from the back. He's really picking up as they take the 22nd, and it's Lord Cal who's still clear. There's just three more fences to go, and it's Lord Cal who's still five lengths clear of Alexander Minx in second, Mr. Wiseman. Now Artisan Sundown is starting to run on as they get over the third last, and they get over that third last, and Lord Cal leads up to eight lengths. It's Lord Cal in front, Artisan Sundown is now. Now the one throwing down the challenge in second, but he's a challenge at six lengths behind. And it's Lord Cal with two to jump in the Durham National. Lord Cal has just got to get over these last two fences, surely. Comes into this final ditch, gets over it nicely. Over it in second, Artisan Sundown. Then Mr. Wiseman and Alexander Minx. But it's Lord Cal who, barring a disaster at the last, is surely going to take the Durham National for Padre Hogan. It's Lord Cal racing up towards the final fence then there. He's still six lengths clear. Artisan Sundown is making no impression whatsoever. Mr. Wiseman's running on. He stood off the last, but he got over it okay. And he's now going to race up towards the line. He can take it easy now. He doesn't need to push anymore. It's Lord Cal that takes it from Artisan Sundown. Mr. Wiseman, we be clarity, ran on for fourth. Alexander Minx was next. Finding Alice not on a going day today. And Lord Cal, pillar to post. I don't think anything got within three or four lengths of him all the way around. To be honest, a pretty easy win. Artisan Sundown didn't pick up when it had the chance, but Lord Cal takes it for Padre Hogan. Artisan Sundown for David Robertson second. Mr. Wiseman, Stu Gray third. We be Clarity for Martin Lee, was fourth. And Alexander Minx for Stu Gray was fifth.